welcome back to Makeup History and Conspiracies. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below so you never miss an upload. My name is Nena and on this channel, we talk about all things history, conspiracies, urban legend, folklore, and paranormal while I do my makeup. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the lost city of Atlantis, which can honestly fall under both history and conspiracy. So this is gonna be an interesting one. If you're a millennial like I am, I'm sure you remember the iconic Disney movie, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Growing up, I honestly thought Atlantis was not real. I never really thought too much of it. To me, I was like, oh, okay, it's just like fairy tale. Once I got a little bit older and I started getting into a lot of the National Geographic's travel channel, history channels, I started seeing a lot of, you know, professionals talk and discuss the possibilities of Atlantis actually being real. And let's be real, honestly, I'm sure there are a lot of civilizations that have been lost in time. Earth has been around for a very long time and I'm sure not everything has stayed at the surface. The more videos I saw on the historical side of it, the more I was like, there has to be some kind of truth to this. I'm sure we're all familiar with the philosopher Plato. Well, check this out. In 300 BC, Plato had written two dialogues Tertius and Timaeus, I believe is how you pronounce it. Plato described Atlantis as an island that had three rings around it with cities basically on these circle rings. These little cities that sat on the island also essentially kind of were divided by moats. And at the very top of the island was essentially where like the king and queen would stay. So the very tippy top of Atlantis was where the big ha ha head honcho was at. And even though Plato wrote about this city, it is believed that he gained his knowledge from Solon, who was also a philosopher. Apparently, Solon had learned this information when he went to Egypt and learned about the civilizations from the Egyptians. And apparently, the Atlanteans had existed about 9,000 years before. According to Plato, Atlanteans were also extremely wealthy and they possessed these quote-unquote otherworldly powers and abilities. Also said that Atlanteans had a lot of natural resources on their islands and one of the resources that they had was oral calcium, which is supposed to be some kind of crazy metal like the one you saw in the movie. was talking about? It wasn't a star, it was, it was some kind of crystal, uh, like these. Don't you get it? Essentially like a very powerful crystal. Let's get into the destruction of Atlantis. Plato claims that it was a catastrophic event, most likely some kind of natural disaster that essentially took about a day and one night to completely sink Atlantis. Scientists actually believe that if Atlantis was real, it was kind of placed in this very specific area in the Mediterranean Sea. It was actually right on a fault line. So if for whatever reason Atlantis did exist, more likely than not, it was an earthquake. All right, so let's get into some of the theories about Atlantis and the Atlantean people. A lot of people believe that Atlanteans were actually some sort of alien type beings and that they came from outer space and were put on Earth in order to keep the balance between the spiritual world, outer space, and Earth. Other people also believe that Atlanteans were also giants, so that is also another theory floating around. Like Plato said in his dialogues, the Atlanteans were very, very wealthy. A lot of people believe that the destruction of Atlantis was brought upon by the Atlantean people due to their greed and them wanting to essentially take over the world. So there are a, quite a lot of theories out there. So many that I couldn't even begin to scratch the surface. I personally do believe the city of Atlantis was real. And even if the citizens of Atlantis were otherworldly beings or if they were not. I'm sure there are so many other ancient civilizations that 
have been lost due to catastrophic world events, ice ages, you know, sea levels rising, all that. I believe that there are probably way more civilizations than we think that we have yet to discover. And honestly, if you think about it, in millions of thousands of years when we're no longer here, I'm sure that a lot of the remnants that we have left or that we leave behind will never be discovered or it will take millions of years to even find it. What do you think? Do you think that Atlantis existed? Do you think that other civilizations have also been lost in natural and world disasters? I'm curious to see what you think in the comments down below. Also, I am low-key trying this new thing where I have not been wearing mascara and I kind of like the way it looks way better. What do we think? Oh wait, I have to do my lips. Okay, so this is the final look. Like always, I'm always very interested to hear what you think if you have any theories on Atlantis or if it even existed or why you don't think it existed. Leave them in the comments down below. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm just trying to get the hang of scripting and researching. So I'm sorry if these videos are a little bit short for the time being, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.